Hey everybody, this is my second video t tutorial on making uh, synth sounds that famous producers use. My last video was on Benny, Benati Benny Benassi's uh, Satisfaction synth. This is going to be on Body Rocks's Yeah Yeah type synth. So I hope that this video works. If you follow these directions, you should come pretty close to having the exact sound. So make sure you do every little thing that I do. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a Thor synthesizer. Set the polyphony to 4 and the release polyphony to 1. Uh, in the keyboard mode, set it to mono, re mono retrig. And uh, for the portamento, make sure that it's switched to on. And boost the portamento up to four, 42. So now click um, Show Programmer and head on over to our first analog oscillator. So move the octave down to 3 and set the PW to 64. Alright, um, we're going to create an oscillator to another analog and we're going to set leave the octave at 4, set the semi to 4, set the tune to 11, and once again the PW will be set at 64. Let's create a third analog set the octave to 2, change the dot to be next to the squiggly S shaped version and uh, on the PW make it 64. Okay, great. Um, next go up to your low pass ladder filter, filter and make sure that 1, 2, and 3 are all checked. This will enable all three oscillators we just created to layer on top of each other to create one sound and that's very important. That's what makes up this synth. Um, so now head down to the filter envelope and we're gonna set A to 1.9 milliseconds and we're gonna set D to 349 milliseconds. Oh, there we go. And we're gonna set S to negative 48.2 Well, that's good enough. I had set it to negative 50. And then R will be 705 milliseconds. All right. Um, so now in your amp envelope, uh, you're going to set 1.2 milliseconds is fine for A. D should be at 349 milliseconds. Uh, S should be set to zero, which is all the way to the top, and R, R your release will be sent to 1.09 seconds. Oh, I just had it for a sec. There it is. All right, great. So I think that's all we're going to be doing to the actual synth. Now, down here, you're going to click on this box right under source and go down to performance and mod wheel. Set the amount to about... 60, let's say 66, uh, and the destination will be in filter 1, frequency. And this is just, so it's just good for creating the body rock synth. I'll, I'll explain that at the end of the video, how you can use that and why that's important. So next, you're going to create, um, what's it called? It's called a BV something. You're going to want to make a BV512 digital vocator and you're going to make it a four band and you're going to make it an equalizer. The decay should be set to 127. The shift should be a negative 30. The HFM should be set at zero and dry wet should be at 127. So that's all we do with that it looks like. So now we're going to create uh, RV7000 Advanced Reverb and click on the little folder sign and go down and find all what's it called? All warm something. All warm plate. That's what we want. I like that. It sounds very nice. Um, so make sure that the EQ is enabled. Uh, set the decay, the decay to zero, decay, <laughs> the decay to zero, and the HF damp should be at 25. 
the high EQ should be set to negative 4, it's already there. And the dry wet should be at 18, so way over to the left at 18. Great, so now let's create an M class equalizer. M class equalizer. And the first thing you're going to do is select low cut right there. And over here, don't select the low shelf, but set the frequency on the on low shelf to what to one oh six point two. Right there. And the gain should be at one point seven. And make sure you set select the pram one over here and set the frequency to 114.9. Set the gain to 4.6. And set the Q to 4.9. All right, last thing we're gonna do is create an M class maximizer and set the input game to six. Uh, the four MS look ahead should be selected. Now change from fast to auto of the second one, not the first one, the second one, change it to auto and change from peak to VU. I think that's it. Let me take a listen, yep. That is the synth I was looking for. So it's a loud synth, once again, so change it to about 90 should be where it sits. And you, there you have it. That's, that's a very good, yeah, yeah, body rock synth in my opinion. A uh, so tip on how to use it would be to use this frequency knob a lot. The lower it is, the softer the synth will be, and the higher it is, the more like grainy and powerful it becomes. And they use it a lot in uh, the song yeah yeah so you can use that um, I'm gonna post the directions in the description of this video so don't you don't have to rewind every second if you missed something I said you can just read it over later but this will can be used as a visual aid I hope you check out my other vids check out my myspace listen to my music I hope that this helps and uh, if you have any questions, just comment me or message me, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.